Right, so hi everyone. I was actually meant to be away this week in the camper van, but I went to start it yesterday and it wasn't having any of it. Apparently the starter motor's knackered, so the mechanic, he can't fit me in to do that until Thursday. So it's a shame really, because I want to be heading off up into the hills, but fear not, we haven't got the match until Monday night. I did definitely want to get out and about, even if it's just for a couple of hours. So I'm just going to be sticking local and I'm going to take you across to a place that many of you all know, especially if you live in Nottinghamshire. <laughs> Right, so we're actually here at Ansley Old Church. So we're just going to get out and take your little walk around the place. So the church itself is actually next to the A608 at Annersley in Nottinghamshire, near Junction 27 of the M1. So the present building was built in 1356, replacing one that was on the same site in the 11th century. And it's been listed as a listed grade one building since 13th October, 1966. In fact, there's an information board here, which I'll read a couple of snippets from to you. Church on the site from Norman times. Donated to Felly Priory by Ralph Brito de Ansley and Ansley Knight in 1156. There's various information there about the timeline of it. So we'll go and have a little look around the place and I'll have a see if I can get my drone up for some decent footage. There's many old graves in here, but there is some. They've still got flowers on, like that one there. All Saints Church, 1200 to 18. 78. I mean, it's bonkers, really, when you think about it. It's going on for nearly 900 years old, this place. And its walls are still intact. Some of it was rebuilt, as I mentioned, in 1356, but some of it is from the 1100s. I mean, obviously the roof went years ago. Yeah, you stood inside the middle of Ansley Old Church, the original Old Saints Church. Right, let's go and check a bit more outside, see what we can find. I've actually been around here in the evening just as the sun was setting. It's quite an eerie place, especially in winter. I mean, they don't look particularly frightening tonight or this afternoon, but everywhere looks good when the sun's shining, don't it?
see in this next to it this is Allensley Hall which I think is now private there's been quite a bit of works going off I drive past it most days and I've seen a lot of work vans pulled up outside it. It looked like there's a lot of work happening. I mean, they've got some new pipes been fitted down there, so perhaps somebody's having it restored. I'll see what information I can find about Ansley Hall. I don't ever remember it being anything other than a disused building. But yeah, that's right next to the church itself. The church is obviously older. And then the Chorworth family had Ansley all built. One of the Chorworths was a lover of Lord Byron's. Right, let's see how close I can get to Ansley all. It's like there's two main buildings to it. The one here with this clock face on, that one there, and then that behind where I was just stood. Next that wall there, a minute ago, there. So I've just found another information board. Chorworth Musters Heritage Trail. It's all about the various halls around Nottinghamshire. So you've got Colic Hall, St John's Church, Colic, Newstead Abbey. Newstead Abbey is not far from here. All Saints Church. That's a newer one in Ansley Village, about half a mile from here. And then obviously Ansley Old Church, the one we're at. Felly Priory, founded 1156. Then Annesley Hall, which is also where we are at the moment. So, yeah, it's another one that you can pause if you want to read it. I'll just leave it on for another second. And then you've got it. So, behind me is Annesley Hall. I'm going to have a walk further around now, see how close we can get to it. Like I said, I do think it is private residence now, although it's definitely not residential at the moment. We'll be getting some work done on it. There's the other building that we seen from the graveyard, just there. So we'll uh, start having a walk around to it now. Yeah, so when you go up to the front of it, it just says private no entry, private keep out. 
dog, so I'm not going to be going inside. Just have a walk around the perimeter. So again, we ran at one of the other gates. And again, it says private, keep out. Let's see what shot you can get out of the place from here. Yeah, it's all had new boarding on, on all those lower windows. And obviously upstairs, there's no windows at all. All have been smashed in. As I mentioned earlier, I can never remember Ansley Hall being any different than it is like this now. It's always been the same. Just wonder why nothing's ever been done of it. Just decade after decade going by and nothing happening to a building like that just seems strange to me. I know it'd cost them a lot of money like to sort out, but surely somebody would take it on. It's in a good location, not far from the motorway, but then it's surrounded by acres and acres of fields. It just seems strange that something like that has been left for so long. Although, as I mentioned earlier, they do look like something is actually happening with it now. I've seen work going on up here before though, that that kind of thing, you know, where they've had work vans and skips outside. It's almost like they've just tidy it up and then another 10 years will pass and it's just left to it, you know what I mean? But hopefully something's gonna come of it because I think it's a brilliant building. I'm hoping if I can, to try and fly the drone up facing towards it so we can get a little bit better shot. I can see in the distance there's a car parked under a tree. I'm just going to spin you around. Right, I've not moved from the spot I'm just spinning you around from. And I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, over there is a vehicle parked up. Now I've seen a guy earlier. They were a little bit spooky to be fair. I was filming in the All Saints Church and he was sat on a bench. I looked again, he was there. I carried on, I looked around and he'd vanished. And I'm talking, he'd vanished like within three seconds of me looking again. And I couldn't see where he'd walked off to. Very strange. Right, so I've just come back out from there. It's all barbed wire and I don't fancy ripping my trousers climbing through it plus it says private key part everywhere so we'll just walk a little bit further along here and maybe be able to launch my drone from here I mean we're not far from the bypass now you can probably hear the traffic mad really if you think back all those hundreds of years ago this path that we're walking on there this would be the path that they'd take towards Hucknall and then beyond into Nottingham from Ansley and then obviously in the opposite directions towards Kirkby and Mansfield and Workstop beyond that 
yeah, this is the path anyway, that you would carry on all the way down into Oaknall and then Nottingham. So as you've just seen, we're on that footpath and as we're on a public footpath, I can legally launch my drone from here. So let's get it up and see if we can get a slightly closer look at Annesley Hall. and I don't want to be launching from there you can launch it nearby from there but the problem I've got is there's no end of trees so when I come to bring the drone back in there's all the trees that you'll see when we're further back round there so we'll have a little walk back round to where we were earlier but it's shown you a little bit of it I'd like to have got a little bit closer but kept getting the wind assist and blowing too strong wind too high go lower but the drone it's only 249 grams which means you can launch it over properties within 50 meters whereas when they're above 250 gram you've got to stay 150 meters away from them so we'll uh, we'll get further back round and see what else we can see so you see with these drones and as I mentioned, as long as you're 50 meters away and above the roof line, and as long as it's not restricted airspace, as in like near an airport or above a prison, because it's for non-commercial use, you can go where you want because people might own the land that the property sits on but they don't own the airspace. And if anybody thinks I'm calling a bluff with that, like I've seen one or two of these videos, get looking on the DirectGov website. All of the information is there. Law, UK law states, drone owners can use them for private use within 50 meters and keep above the roof lines. And as you can see, Annesley Hall's perimeter is well more than 50 meters and that's just from the ground as i said they don't own the airspace so you can get up and have a look i mean we didn't go too close to it anyway so everything's all good we'll start making his way back around the edge of it it's quite muddy and slippy on the way around past this building on the way in cuts through over there that way to the right so yeah that's Ansley Hall it's about the best you're going to see of it I think They ought to turn this place into some massive nightclub. There's no properties nearby. You'd have good road access to it. Be bang on. I mean, I'm a bit too old for all that. 
or even just some kind of music venue you've seen around the front you could have gigs on be pretty cool i think if you got gigs on here at Ansley hall you know how you've got nebworth and various places you know obviously glastonbury well you could have annersley having loads of bands on at the hall brilliant access from the motorway train stations locally and nottingham train station not too far away be pretty cool right let's start making his way back round back round there the old church this is the reason I didn't want to get the drone up this side you can see the road there and it would be bringing it down obviously you don't bring it down near a road and you've got all these trees nearby so we won't be going it down in that lot would we so seen what we've wanted to see been all right spent an hour and a half up here just knocking about before i do head off just gonna have a look around one more part up here just to see if you can see a little bit more of Ansley Hall. Right, so we're back round to where we were earlier. Pretty much covered it, what we wanted to see or what we can see. Just zoom in on this building. So yeah, that's the two main buildings at Annesley Hall. And that's Annesley Old Church. I'll show you what I meant, that you could have it as a bit of a music festival type place. Right. So you the entrance there, at that gate on the right, you could come in there. They could all be set up with all the bits and bobs here, don't think, get me wrong, it's not a massive area, but you've got all the field the other side where we was. It'd be pretty cool. It's probably an irrelevant comment now because I think somebody's bought the whole lot. Obviously they've not bought the church. But they bought the Ansley Hall. I'm just going to go around to the front where these benches are. I think I'm going to have a a little bit of my pop and chill out for 10 minutes yeah it's been all right afternoon up here quite enjoyed it quite nice and relaxing chilling out here the only thing that slightly lets it down is the road noise with that a608 being so close to it yeah down there and beyond in towards nottingham that way
Right, so I've come round to the other side of the old church again to close this video off because it's slightly noisy over there next to the road. So, yeah, uh, been all right. Hour and a half, two hours up here. Might be of interest to some people, especially people who was originally from up this way and no longer live around here. They maybe wanted to see what Ansley was like. Even all these years later, I can guarantee you it's pretty much the same as when you last seen it. So, uh, yeah, nice one for watching. If you don't mind all the usual stuff, like, comment, and then if you wouldn't mind, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And I'll uh, catch you in the next video, which hopefully won't be too long until I do one again. Thank you very much. Cheers.